the alert you'll want to hear. Police arrested five teenagers connected to a series of violent robberies and carjackings across Milwaukee, but they believe several more teens are still on the streets. Police say the teens were in a stolen car last night near 72nd and Hampton. Five boys ages 16, 17, and 18 took off running but were arrested. Police say the boys are responsible for 12 armed robberies over the last few days, including several on the east side. 12 News has learned this is all part of an alarming jump in crime. As 12 News' Nick Bohr tells us, this led to a special meeting with some of the city and county's top leaders. When 15-year-old Cameron Powell was shot to death by one of his victims during a robbery here on Labor Day, it brought attention to a nearly 100% increase in carjackings and car thefts in the city, many of them related. The Facebook photos of Powell and his friends paint a picture. Boys and girls toting guns, flashing cash. Police Chief Ed Flynn calls it a competitive game of criminality. We're aware of open source material online. That shows them brandishing firearms and cash and stolen cell phones, and bragging about how many cars they've stolen. We obviously are dealing with not just a bunch of criminals, we're dealing with a phenomenon. A phenomenon focusing on random victims, often in broad daylight. And there's frustration that juvenile suspects are arrested, but soon are back out on the streets to do it again. I can tell you, we had a meeting yesterday with the chief judge, with the district attorney, to talk specifically about issues like. The car thefts, um, and so that there's going to be a, a an effective response with a coordinated response from police department to the district attorney to the judicial system, um, so that we can stem that. Nobody's in this game just to jail young people, but if young folks don't experience any consequence or get meaningful services in their first exposure to the system. Those who are oriented towards crime aren't going to change their conduct. We've learned at least one area bar here has hired armed security during this robbery spree until it subsides. At Second and National, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. Milwaukee's police chief and mayor met today with their counterparts from Minneapolis and Chicago to compare strategies on fighting gun crime. We'll have more on that on 12 News at 6.